This guy made Team C's goal accomplished. Interesting. So, Austin Russell. After seeing these 600,000 plus individual donors that got us to this point, I want to step up and do my part to accomplish this goal and help the planet. Four million dollars donated. <laughs> so, obviously, you might have seen the news. Team C's has reached 30 million pounds removed from the ocean. Now, did it happen on time? Uh, Mr. Beast wanted it to be done by the 31st and then on the last day extended it to the first so if you count that yeah it was done on time I would give I would say it was done on time like that's insane 30 million pounds cleaned up from the ocean like what the heck so if we sort by most trash Austin Russell did it donated four million dollars to clean up the ocean like what the heck and then oh, there's also this one here uh, anonymous for Nemo so I wonder who did that for Nemo and for the Lorax like what the heck oh well, that's funny but these were done like uh, earlier so I wonder who the heck Austin Russell is because I don't know them Austin Russell interesting <laughs> Elon Musk 2.0 so I guess he's rich <laughs> doesn't even say what he's done like what the heck he's a billionaire that's what Google's saying so that's cool so thank you Austin Russell for donating uh, to Team C's any donation helps you're still able to donate by the way teamc's.org so i don't know if there's going to be uh you know team trees team c's what's what's next i don't know but it's pretty cool hi welcome back to frolic friday the awesome youtube series where i look at your submissions on reddit and we have like the best of time so let's look into the recent submissions or something like that when eminem raps faster than the closed captions oh my god he is actually rapping faster than the the, the song. I don't know if I can play the audio for this because of freaking copyright, but that's insane. <laughs> the captions are like like a two seconds delayed. One or two seconds delayed, but it really makes a difference because he's rapping so freaking fast. Eminem, you're kind of cool, dude. I still got the dislike button. Uh, I've seen this. Like Some people still kind of have it, even though they shouldn't. It really doesn't make any sense. Like Even with the YouTube extension, I don't know how they have accurate dislikes it's kind of confusing because they're supposed to get the uh, api removed but it's, it still works for some people i don't get it i don't get it man not gonna lie this sub is getting filled with kids just spamming or something something uh okay we have mod applications that have been released i can see the viewer retention graph in some videos this is, is this a new update yeah it is and i really like it like look at that you can see the high points of the video and for this video i'm pretty sure every point was a high point but it is super useful i don't know who came up with it but they should give them a pay raise give them a pay raise because it's actually pretty great like i love this feature it's so useful for lots of videos just like the dislike button youtube so useful <laughs> just want to show you in this ring box i have a ring look at that got it from the dentist back in 07 it's actually probably the year I did get it, and I don't know why I have it. Just thought I'd show you that. Back to the video. <laughs> this was hands down the best video I've seen all year. Yeah, this was my YouTube Rewind video, and it was great. It took so long to edit this, and I was completely sleep deprived. Like, for I didn't sleep for a day because I was editing this. It took so long to do. It always takes long to do. The last four or last three that I've done, it takes forever to edit these, but it's so worth it because it actually comes out really cool. Like, I'm pretty good with editing. Like, you see that portal effect? Not too bad, Nick. <laughs> Not too bad, you know what I mean? Like, it's actually pretty good. So, thank you guys for enjoying it, you know? Google Easter egg for New Year. Okay, so what happens? You search New Year's Eve, and that's cool. <laughs> I like that. Yeah, New Year's Eve, New Year's party was pretty fun. I didn't do anything. For real, like, I didn't party at all. I watched the time change like I usually do, but that was really about it. Um, <laughs> I, should I feel like partying would be kind of fun, so I don't know why I don't do it. I trolled Costco today, oh my god, what the heck. I would hate that, if I went, if I went, <laughs> I would stop going to Costco if that happened to me. The evolution of the Timeworks profile picture, which one do you prefer? Wave one? Oh, you got the waves. Look at that. Wave two, three, four. This one's weird to me. <laughs> Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. My favorite is eleven because I like the blue stars here. But this one wasn't bad either. I also really like this one. Wave seven, kill killer one. And I don't like pictures of myself, so this is <laughs> it's a good one. What do you guys think? You like the original one? Not really a fan of the face profile pictures. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can see that. 
The original wasn't used for that long. Seventh because, yeah, the seventh, I like the seventh. Last one because it's awesome. Heck yeah, five to ten. Five to ten. You don't like the new one, man. <laughs> Seven and ten, nine because it's a cooler version of the current one. You see, I didn't like this one. I mean, I did at the time, but to me, I the colors are really weird. The bird's really dark. This this is all weird colors. I don't know what's going on. This just seems refined to me, you know what I mean? So people like it at different stages. Um, so that's pretty. I, it's kind of cool to see your opinion on it. <laughs> I just got Rickrolled by an ad. Oh, no, another Rickroll, dude. That's, that's... I hope I do not have to watch that. The new video about you turning into a comment bot. What? Am I a comment bot? I, I refuse to be a comment bot. That's never gonna happen. Mr. Beast French channel just hit 1K without video. I guess people are finding it. <laughs> okay, yeah, I thought I read. Okay, so the French channel, I don't know what's going on with that. Is that even his? Like, I, I don't know what all. Frito-Lay Rickroll. Duet with me while sharing your never gonna give it up resolution. That doesn't even make sense. Never gonna give it up resolution, Rick. I mean, it kind of does. Dang it. Well, I, for, for New Year's resolution, I want to do a cartwheel, but real casual, like, uh, not make a big deal out of it, but I know everyone saw it. Just one stunning, gorgeous cartwheel. That's my New Year's resolution, so hopefully I can make that happen. These freaking comment bots don't know who I should tell about this. Yeah, I know, right? Oh my god, those are insane looking bots. Oh my god. Yeah, we're gonna have to censor the profile pictures. That's pretty messed. And they're just allowed to exist on YouTube. Doesn't some social media platforms have like profile picture scanning to to determine if it's bad? Like, I think they should improve that tool because uh, it would get rid of a lot of this crap. YouTube viewers in 2018, when YouTube Rewind has been posted, when YouTube Rewind 2018 posted with celebrities instead of creators, <laughs> Yeah, when I was doing my rewind, there was a certain point where I was like, okay, this is getting too much into, uh, like, memes and celebrities, so I was like, okay, I gotta add as many creators as I can now. So I went back, and I patched it all up, and now it actually feels like a real rewind. So I caught myself, I'm gonna do it next year, and I'm never gonna forget. Put as many YouTubers as possible. <laughs> YouTube bots are hitting live streams. I've seen three of these bots during the stream. Oh, good grief, bro. At least with this one, people won't think to go to this link because there's a space, so they might just, they. I don't even think I would process that as being a link, you know? So I guess it's not as bad. There is a YouTube Easter egg where if you search up Doge meme, it would show the page in color Comic Sans. Really? Is that for real? I'll, I'm gonna have to look into this because that's pretty funny. <laughs> Timex, you're so close to passing Mr. Beast. I know, right? Very close. Gonna happen like probably tomorrow, honestly. I'm the first person to get Rickrolled in 2022. Feels bad. That sucks. He's probably thinking about other guys. Him, if John Cena wears camo, does he become twice as invisible or do they cancel each other out? Look, I'm not even gonna try and confuse your brain here because I know the answer. So basically, John Cena, obviously you can't see him. You know what I mean? Can't see him. If he wears camo, which obviously you can't see camo, what would happen? Well, you would actually see the camo because John Cena does such perfect invisibility that even camouflage can't be as great as John Cena's invisibility. So you'd actually see a little bit of what he's wearing. So he really has to work on that. Stay away from camo, basically. And that's the f definitive answer. <laughs> and so yeah, that's about it for this episode of Frolic Friday. If you enjoyed, click subscribe, as well as subscribe to Dafin, as well as ILG000, and Xavian Phelps, and Coke Man. Okay, click subscribe to all those Epic Tier 3 YouTube members. Thank you for watching this Frolic Friday. Submit more on the subreddit and stuff. And of course, guys, fly on. Oh, 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 oh,